how to create an invoice with payment links using Stripe. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own invoices in Stripe and create payment links within those invoices. So let's get started. For this, you're going to have to log on to your Stripe account. And once you have logged on to your Stripe account, you're first going to have to add a product because whenever you're sending out an invoice, of course, it needs to have the product or the service that the person purchased. So when they look at the invoice, they're like, oh, yeah, this is what I purchased. Now I remember. So you do need to add that beforehand. And we're going to go into our Stripe dashboard and then click on product catalog on the left. Then we have a couple of different products. So I'm going to click on create product over here. We can create the name of the product. Let's say this is going to be our glow foundation. And then I can add the description of the product. So whatever the description is, then I can also upload an image. I can choose the type of product this is, whether it's a recurring payment or a one-off payment. And let's say this is a one-off payment of $15. And then I'm just going to click on add product. We have other pricing options and you can go into detail into Stripe and take a look at some of the other payment options that Stripe provides you, whether you're selling recurring services or you have a use based model. Stripe has a couple of different services, service types that you can add in that way. But today we're going to be focusing on creating a payment link with our invoices. So once our Glow Foundation has been added as a product, the next step is to go into Invoices on the left. Now you can see invoices are added as a shortcut. If you do not have invoices as a shortcut, you're probably going to find them right under your billing section. And in your billing section, you're going to have invoices. Now in billing, you have invoices and then in payments, you have payment links. Now, honestly, you can probably do this in two different ways. You can either just create a payment link and once you create a payment link, you can just create a QR code for that and people can screen that and, you know, you can send out the link and people can pay. However, because of that, people are not going to get their invoices and invoices are dealt when a customer has already purchased a product from you. So that is why we're going to go into billing and then we're going to go into invoices. Now, once we've gone into invoices, we are going to click on create test invoice and within your invoice you will see on the top left you're going to add your customer so whatever your customer's email is you're going to add that now on the right in your preview section you're going to see your invoice pdf then you have the invoice email and you have your hosted invoice page so in this your hosted e invoice page is just going to serve as a online checkout now, once we've done that, we will select our currency from the left and then scroll down and add your items. So you can create a new item over here as well, but I'm just going to select our Glow Foundation. Let's say they purchased 60 units of it, and then I'm just going to click on save. Once I do that, I can add items. I can add shipping coupons. I can add manual taxes or automatic taxes. Then we have our payment collection. Now you can click on manage payment methods and enable all the payment methods that you want to use. So Link, Klarna, Canadian Preauthorized Debit, Amazon Pay, and you even have some other unavailable payment methods that may not be activated in your account and you can activate them as well. And within this, if you check this option, it's going to work. But if you choose to auto charge the customer with a payment and you already have their uh, you know card information, it's going to be paid. However, we're going to go into request payment and we're going, going to make it due in 14 days. And you will see over here you have a payment link generated. So if you have your payment methods enabled, if enabled, this will be enabled. However, if I remove the payment methods, all of them, then the pay online option is also going to be removed. So if we remove all the other options and leave the link option, it's going to be removed. So we need multiple options in this. So Amazon Pay, let's say, and credit or debit card. The most important, honestly, is the card payments. And if you even remove Amazon Pay and remove the link payment option, as long as you have card payment as a option within your invoice, then customers will be able to purchase or fulfill the invoice amount from that one singular section. So that is the really important part to keep within your invoices. 
Now, moving forward, we are going to go on ahead, scroll down, and we have the delivery. So do not, if you want to invoice, uh, send out this invoice via email, you can email the invoice to the customer. And then from here, you have the configuring of the link to online payment page. And this is our invoice with a payment link. Usually invoices do not have this. A standard invoice just shows you the bill. Usually if a customer has already paid, that's when you, you know, send out invoices sometimes. But this is going to be your way of simply getting invoices, collecting them without having to go through a lot of trouble at all. Now, we are going to make sure to check this option. And if you do not have this option, it means that maybe your payment methods that you have included on top are not adequate and you might have to include other payment methods as well. So do keep that in mind if this option is not showing up for you. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down and we have additional options. If we want to customize the overall template, the tax ID, if we want to add custom fields, footers, memos, or any other additional information that is going to stray away from your standard invoice, then you can click on send invoice over here. This is our invoice PDF. This is our email and this is our hosted invoice page. So you guys can see we have all our different options ready and just like that we can proceed with sending out our invoice to our customers. Now from here we can go on ahead and go into our hosted invoice page and in our hosted invoice page, you guys can see this is what it's going to look like as a web page and you can send out your invoice. Currently, my account is not activated, so I do not have the ability to send out this invoice. But once you use your actual live data, you will be able to accept payments and you do need to complete your business profile. And this invoice is not limited to a singular product. You can add multiple different products in this. So if I want to click on add item, I can go on ahead, click on add item. And just like that, we have save and the other item can also be added. We can add multiple items and our invoice would be updated as per the updates made. But once you send out the email invoice and they've paid that invoice, if you then try to change it, you're not able to later on change your invoice. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day ahead. And if there is anything else that you would like to know about Stripe or if there's anything that I missed out on, make sure to leave that in the comments as well. I would love to know your feedback.